Hello, it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today just a quick video on showing you how to fix the error with Windows not resetting with Windows versions after 1909. This is mostly common on the current version of Windows and is uh, causing a lot of people grief. So to explain what is going on, basically if you've uh, got a problem with your system, uh, maybe you go into your control panel and you want to reset, and you go into reset this PC. You've got options here for reset this PC, so if your PC is not running well, etc, etc, but you probably already know that because that's probably why you're at this video. So click on get started, and normally you'll be presented with these two options. So keep my files, which removes apps and settings, but keeps your personal files, and remove everything. So if you're maybe selling a PC, uh, planning on getting a new PC and you're getting rid of the old one, then this is the way to do it. So normally you'd choose one of these, click next, and it'll go through, do a couple of reboots, and you get to a point where it says this reset cannot be processed or there is a file error or something along those lines but it basically it means you've wasted like 15 20 minutes of your time so a lot easier thing to do and i actually recommend doing this all the time before you're planning doing anything like this or anything with windows like refresh installs all that kind of stuff is to make sure that the actual windows image you've got on your pc is clean so in order to do that what we're going to need to do is open up a command prompt and if you right click and choose run as administrator because we do need to run it as administrator at this point you'll get the windows command processor come up but you might not see that because i'm using obs to uh, quickly record this so what we need to do is to clean up our windows system image now i've actually put this into a little text file here and i'll paste this into the video description so you can check it out for yourself so we're just going to copy that from there and all we need to do is paste this in so Control v or paste and it should look something like this. So DISM, which is the deployment image manager, uh, online space cleanup dash image space restore health, and just press enter. And then basically what this will do is it will use your system, it will check with the Microsoft servers, and also check with your own existing image on the disk, and just make sure that they both match each other. This takes a little while, maybe know, five, 10 minutes, depending on the speed of your PC, but certainly doing this first before you do your reset is much, much better more beneficial than trying to do the reset then for some reason it either failing halfway and leaving you with kind of random orphan files on your hard drive which just yeah it just makes more and more mess so this is a much easier and quicker way of doing it and i definitely suggest you do this every time you do anything with your system again resets uh, reinstalls all that kind of stuff is really worth doing and the actual image does get corrupted very very easily especially with windows updates that kind of thing so yeah, maybe we're bookmarking this one for a later date. So we're gonna let that carry on and do its thing and then we'll come back when it's done. So there we go, that only took uh, literally about three or four minutes, very, very quick on my little Ryzen 3 3100 system. So obviously depending on the speed of your system, you may find it takes longer. But we've come to the end, it's got to 100% and it says now the restore operation completed successfully and the operation completed successfully. So that's it and we've gone back to our command prompt. So what we can do now is type in exit, hit enter, now, what you want to do before you actually go ahead and try and do your reset again is to go down the bottom here, click on the power button and do a restart, then log back in and then you can try and do your restart. I wouldn't try and do it before then, otherwise the image may not still be active. Again, like with anything, a reset is always a good idea. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you if you've had problems with resetting your Windows 10 at the moment. I know a lot of people have, so I thought this would be a really good time to release this video. So if the video has been helpful to you, leave a thumbs up, uh, leave me comments in the comment section below, and we'll uh, catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.